to speak about community medicine. Thank you, madam. Uh, and uh, when you say community medicine, what comes to your mind is those boring lectures. Oh, I mean, even uh, I myself slept uh, during uh, community medicine lectures. Forget it. It's a totally different experience when you take up postgraduate trainings because you are highly focused on only on community medicine. So when you say community medicine is a mixture of preventive and clinical medicine, you won't lose your clinical uh, uh, exposure. So you have to treat that community level and goals. When you compare with curative uh, medicine, curative sector, so the goal is treatment and so in preventive medicine is prevention of disease. So you take measures to prevent disease occurring. And in clinical medicine, you have only single patient to treat. At a given time, you will be treating only one patient. But at community medicine, when you do community medicine, is a lot. Given given time period, now say, now I look after, I uh, work on maternal and childhood. If you take one decision, one intervention at uh, national, it will be 10,000 pregnant mothers. In the so, in a given time period, we will be serving many patients. So, you, uh, in clinical medicine, you depend on physical examination. So, in preventive medicine, we do health service. So, Uh, uh, stop there at that level, masters. You can go to uh, overseas. You can do uh, something different, uh, or in, so intermediary level qualification. You have. so then uh, if you want to proceed, so you can do MD part one. Then uh, the part two, 
and is not you don't stop at that level so you become a specialist compared with other clinical specialists but after that you have the option to become a health administrator if you are that part thing or even with that you can go to un uh, un agencies it may be who it may be unicef unfpa or world health uh, organization uh, international level so is is never ending success rate at examinations now this is qualifying examination so last time 77% pass rate so even if you i mean not like other specialties if you do the msc qualifying so there is a high chance of passing so then the next level is masters you see 78% last year is basically 60 to 80 percent then uh, comes the md believe me it's 100 percent faster so if you start to next year within five or six years you will become a consultant in this country as dr dilip mentioned so you will be ab absorbed to ministry of health so we have 330 plus vacancies or card and so far only 70 plus fill so you, you can opt to any of these uh, organizations maybe ministry of health as a consultant or family health bureau maternal and child health epidemiology unit health promotion bureau national institute of uh, health sciences in kalutara or you you can go to a special program malaria uh, or the uh, leprosy or dengue there are a lot of uh, special programs then uh, if your hometown is uh, somewhere uh, out of Colombo, you can become a provincial ccp there may be three posts in each province and uh, district level or if you want a mix of preventive and clinical medicine you can opt to become a community physician in the hospital now this from this year onwards we are putting uh, community patients to hospitals even work hours monday to friday weekend off ph off no picks night on call but basically theoretically you are on call but during the covid 19 period so we, we had to work long hours there are situations so there are people who want night, uh, to avoid night on calls or in the uh, i mean and uh, at weekend you want to have a uh, uh, free time so it's it's good so like uh, i was always telling these uh, school teachers financial benefits you might think that uh, community physicians for you whether you can earn anything now see my salary last year last month take home take home salary is 282,000 is this comparable to any other specialty the people say you don't have HR duty see my HR duty <laughs> so so the, these are the things uh, people uh, uh, or, but, but I, I I don't work for, uh, for the salary but uh, these are the these, these are the things uh, people think when you opt for a career apart from this you can do a lot of consultancies it comes in millions so you can you can do a WHO consultancy even even when you are working so then uh, you can do a good private practice not like others so there are a lot of consultant committee patients including me so we we have a good private practice the art of private practice is very good at committee patient level so everything is there so what what, what not to lose and i don't so you may be offered government fellowships so all the 
I think uh, all these 70 plus consultant community uh, physicians, at least once a year, they go abroad for different uh, assignments, different uh, workshops. So from the Ministry of Health. And, and uh, uh, there are, uh, I mean, you have to, you can go with UN agencies, WHO. Uh, so you, you, you may be recognized as a, a consultant. So you, you may be offered uh, consultancies from those agencies. And especially for Sri Lankan community patients, there are a lot of overseas job opportunities. If you want to migrate or you, you, want, or you want to seek uh, overseas uh, job, still you can uh, go for that. There's a big demand. Glamour. So you see the, how, how the public health specialty work with uh, COVID-19. So I, I'm getting this example over and over again because they have done a lot. Now, think of maternal mortality, which I, I do. So Sri Lanka, the, whenever you talk about the health system, what you put forward is the maternal mortality and the infant marks. We are the best in the region. So we have done a lot. So the, uh, so this is only, uh, and, and if you uh, take example, infectious diseases. So we, we have eliminated many diseases. Now recently we eliminated measles. So, and like other specialties, so we are more research uh, oriented. We can do a lot of research, we can publish them. And uh, uh, globally, you are recognized. So usually our committee patients uh, uh, at, at Ministry of Health, so they get, they get invitations from other countries for their work to be uh, presented or for uh, workshops, many things. Uh, so especially from Sri Lanka, uh, we, we are invited. And uh, there's a big room for creativity. So you, I'm in the maternal and child health sector. So over the last 10, 12 years, so I had a lot of opportunities for doing something different. So for example, so I uh, created this uh, model, this healthy school bag, then uh, the maternal uh, mortality review system, fetal infant mortality system. So there are a lot of other people doing a lot of creative uh, activities for the betterment of uh, our population uh, in this country. So if you are a lateral thinker, this is the ideal job for you. Apart from that, quality life. If you want to have a quality family life, community medicine is the best. For my this, uh, uh, MSc dissertation, I did uh, the marital satisfaction of postgraduate trainees. Community medicine people were the best. Actually, there was one uh, element on uh, uh, the sexual life also. So the clinical uh, specialties, it was the, the worst. Family planning prevalence, only 17%. When I presented it, Professor Harshan Tenaviratnan asked me a couple of you know why this 17%? There is no sexual activity. That is why they don't want family planning. So if you want a good family life, so your weekend off, your public uh, pH off, so you can enjoy your. Now, uh, the latest uh, the publication from uh, international level, so the life expectancy of different specialties, public health physicians live longer. If you want to live longer, it's the ideal job. And look at me. I am 53 years old, still feel young and look. Okay. Thank you very much.